Hi guys, I'm very excited for today's video. I've been getting heaps of questions about what I write in my journal every day when I'm vlogging. So this video is gonna be more about that. So number one, why I journal and why you should consider journaling. Journaling is so, so, so therapeutic, therapeutic for me. And I started journaling when I was in fifth grade or earlier. And I didn't even know what I was doing. I would just grab a random notebook in the house when I would be feeling very angry or very sad. And I would just like vent out my feelings with like no limitations. I I mean, I was like very angry that I didn't even care what <laughs> if somebody read it. But for me, when I was younger, I wasn't very good at expressing myself verbally. So writing was a very, very good way for me to express explore my thoughts and my feelings and understand them more and just like honestly just to let them out uh, especially if you don't have any people that you can talk to or if you can't afford a therapist writing can be a very good way just to express your emotions instead of suppressing them and letting them accumulate until you explode the other thing is it's a very good way to process your thoughts and understand where your emotions are coming from and it's a great way to get clear on your ideas. So if you're feeling very inspired and you have this like great idea in your head and when you write it down, you can get clear on it, understand how you can execute it and add more to it and what you should do next and all of that. So one of the great things about journaling that I overlooked for a very long time is that you can look back at your journals and realize so many things about your life because it's basically an insider look at your life, at your brain. So, for example, you can you can um, read old journals and see if you are still stuck in the same pattern and that would perhaps motivate you to actually do something about it. And I am falling off this. <laughs> Let me get this closer a bit. Okay, so we're talking about like old journals. So when you read your old journals and you realize like where you've been stuck for a very long time, like you would be surprised. Like some things I've been stuck on like for like years. So that kind of made me realize, okay, I gotta do something about that. But on a lighter note, like one of the good things about it too is that when I read my old journals, I realized that I was struggling with a lot of things that I no longer struggle with. And that made me very grateful for that. So for example, uh, in one of my journals, when I first moved back to Saudi Arabia, I was writing about how lonely I was feeling and that I don't have any friends and I wish I had like people that are like-minded and that completely changed now. Like. I am so grateful for the people in my life and it made me so happy to like see that I was having an issue and it completely it is completely resolved now. So that is one of the great things and it's also cool to see like things that you were like desiring and things that you really wanted become true. So that's like really cool. Okay, so some of these are extra, but bear with me. They work. Number one is to set the mood. I like to burn some incense, light some candles. Um, I try to make Saturdays an extended journaling day. So I would write more than I would usually do and I would push myself a little bit more. Other days I just write whatever comes to me. You could maybe go outside in a garden or go to a cute coffee shop. Just like organize your space a bit, make it look a little bit neat. Grabbing a very cute and adorable journal can really help too. Or a cool app that helps you journal more. Um, I tried electronic journaling, but I think I'm <laughs> too old for that now. But I think a lot of people would be more fun for them. I don't know, like for me, it's just like something's very relaxing about putting a pen on a paper. The other thing that I think a lot of people worry about is that they worry that someone would read their journal. Um, I made peace with that by realizing that if somebody is willing to go through my handwriting and through my journals just to find out about my deepest secrets, then it's on them, honestly. Like, I, I don't care. <laughs> so, and they can't like, they can't hold anything against you. So, unless like it's something that you could get in really, really big trouble in, maybe get like a journal with a lock. <laughs> I did that when I was a teenager. 
not that I had anything important to say. I was very, very secretive. I'm not anymore, obviously. I mean, I have a YouTube channel, so. Okay, the other thing that I think a lot of people wonder about or question is what to write. There are so many things you can write about, but personally for me, I like to reflect on my day, reflect on my feelings, my emotions. If I had a conversation with someone and made me feel a certain way, I like to explore that. If I felt a little bit anxious when I was, or after I was talking to someone, I like to try to understand why or what made me feel that way, what triggered me. Um, I like to write my goals a lot. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I like to write my dreams. If I had a really interesting dream, I like to write that too. Instead of boring someone with your dreams. Maybe other people's dreams are boring, but for you, they're, they're not. So. so if you're feeling stuck and you're new to journaling or it's just one of those days you don't know what to journal about, for me, if I'm feeling stuck, um, and especially if I'm feeling low, I like to list at least five things that I'm like really grateful for. I know you've probably heard this before and I know it sounds very cliche, but it's actually very, it's a nice way to like switch your thinking a little bit. Um, I'm very like, I'm not with positive tox toxic positivity, but sometimes it's, it's nice to, just like look around you feel like realize that you have a lot of great things in your life um can i get you a little bit out of your head and here are some questions that can help you just like get started with journaling uh, feel free to take a screenshot of this and then you can just like look at it whenever and answer them in your journal or you can write them at the beginning of your journal and then answer them whenever. If you're really not into journaling, but you want to have something that you can look back at, I got this. Um, maybe you can find this, maybe not. So the idea of this journal is that it's a five-year journal and there is a question for each single day. I was very consistent with it the first two days, the first two years. And then um, I, started, I stopped taking it with me when I would travel because I would already take my journal and my um, my planner so I didn't want to I was trying to be a minimalist but this is a very cool way to look back because sometimes I would like see some answers for a certain question and they would be very similar and then some questions the answers would be very very different uh, so it's it's very cool and then there was one uh, that I got for my brother and my sister-in-law so it's like Q&A but for couples so that would be a very cool gift idea if you want to do it yourself whether to yourself or to someone else so for example like one of the questions was when was the last time you felt at peace 2016 i wrote a few days ago when i had that moment it was beautiful i don't feel at peace around most people <laughs> wow 2015 was kind of it's kind of rough 2018 i wrote uh, at anud's farm i actually vlogged that day it was it was really very peaceful now last part is how to stay motivated so how to stay consistent and motivated to journal i've been journaling consistently for like the last seven years maybe for me what really helps me is um setting it making it a habit so i was journaling every single day for a while and one of the like one of the ways to make a habit stick that i like it's from matt uh, so his way is to not skip Two days in a row so if you have something come up and you're like you're really not feeling it and you skip one day it's fine just try not to skip two days in a row and then the other thing that really i know it sounds very silly but it really motivates me to journal is getting cute journals even like from the inside these are very inspiring to write these are on the store i don't know for me to have my surroundings be comforting and aesthetically pleasing really inspires me and motivates me <laughs> it's i know it's very superficial but it works and setting a time to journal is key so for me it's usually before i go to bed especially if i'm finding it hard to sleep i remember like one day something like it was it was a really 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 bad day and i couldn't sleep for like four hours and then i was like finally i just gave up and i took out my journal and I wrote it. I wrote like an 
I don't know, 20 pages or something. <laughs> and then after that, I could sleep. So it's a very good way to just process your thoughts, let out your emotions, and that way it will make it a lot easier to sleep. So journaling before going to bed is very, very nice. Just to calm your mind before you go to sleep. So I'm, I like to journal in the morning too, uh, when I'm having my breakfast with my coffee, uh, during your lunch break would be a good time too. It's really endless. Some people like to journal the minute they wake up and they would immediately write out their dreams. Um, so if that's something you're into, that would be a very cool way to do it too. And then the last tip I have for you is to take it with you everywhere. Especially when I'm traveling, I have to take my journal with me everywhere because when I'm traveling, I'm feeling very inspired. So any moment I can just like pull it out and write and express myself. Yeah, and if you don't wanna carry something big with you, there are some smaller journals, like a pocket journal. I personally don't like these very much because I feel like there's not enough space to express myself and I have to go. The pages tend to be very small. Anyway, okay, I really have to go now. And I hope I kept this video inspiring and helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.